Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com, uh, and today I'm going to show you how to unroot the Nexus 5. Okay, before you begin, you must have a Windows computer, as this program only works for Windows. Uh, then you should have already done our How to Root the Nexus 5 WUG Fresh Toolkit method. If you haven't, uh, click on that link there to be taken to that. And then just go through Section 1 and Section 2 and stop at the end of that. Basically, we just need you to download the toolkit if you don't already have it and install all of its drivers and plug in your device and turn on USB debugging. After you've done that, you can come back to here and continue. And then you're going to open the toolkit by double clicking on the Nexus root toolkit icon. And then we're going to plug the device in via USB. And again, developer options should be on and USB debugging should also be on. If this pops up and prompts you, just say always allow and hit OK. And on the computer, we're going to click flash stock and unroot and make sure that device is on normal if that's how it is. And click that. Click OK. Uh, choose the package that you want, so whatever version of Android you were on when you first started. And click OK and wait for it to download the factory image. After it downloads, it will begin to flash. And your device will reboot into bootloader mode so that it can continue. And eventually when it's all done, the device will reboot. Once it is done, uh, it'll give you this little message saying that it's done. Press any key to exit out of that. And wait for the device to finish rebooting. And once the device fully reboots and stops rebooting itself, go through the setup process and re-enable USB debugging by pulling down the notification, tapping that, tapping settings, going to about phone, scrolling all the way down to build number, keep tapping that until it says your developer. Go back, tap developer options, and turn on USB debugging. Click OK. If this pops up again, hit always allow, hit OK. Then back on the computer, you're gonna hit OEM lock and click OK. And wait for it to do its thing. After that, you can unplug the device and you are fully back to stock the way that it was when it came out of the box. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.